Good day. So in this video, I will be discussing the commonly used acceptable medical and hospital abbreviations. So abbreviations are used because they are short, convenient, and easy to use. And we all know na sa ating hospital setting, we do not only provide care to our patient, we do not only administer medication, but also we have to document kung ano yung mga nagawa natin sa kanila. And one way to document or to chart is to use abbreviations. And sa pag-abbreviate ng mga terms or ng mga words, mas napapabilis nito yung ating pag-charting at mas napapadali uh, yung ating pagtatrabaho when it comes to charting and documentation. However, um, they are often ambiguous which places the client at risk for medical errors and significant harm possibly even death. So sometimes meron tayong mga abbreviations although na mga na-identified naman na sila. Meron tayong mga nagagamit na uh, ambiguous or hindi naman uh, dapat talaga gamitin because um, they are considered um, malabo yung meaning or hindi klaro sa ibang tao. So pwedeng double meaning ang yung yung term na yon or yung abbreviation na ginamit and uh, that would lead to a problem when taking care of our client. So ambiguity occurs when an abbreviation can stand for more than one term leading to misinterpretation. So ang halimbawa ng uh, ambiguous um, abbreviation is the, the letters M and S. So before ginagamit siyang abbreviation as uh, I mean for morphine sulfate and for magnesium sulfate. So MS can either mean magnesium sulfate or morphine sulfate. Okay, so that is an example of an ambiguous um, abbreviation. At, at hindi na natin siya ginagamit kasi nga that could lead or that can place the client at risk for, for medical errors and significant harm. So, na-identify, later on, uh, I will show you, I will show to you ano yung mga terms na dapat hindi natin ginagamit. Okay? Um, it is important to use only the commonly accepted abbreviations, symbols, and terms that are specified by the agency. Many abbreviations are standard and used universally. So, yung mga gagamitin lang natin na abbreviations in the hospital, Ito yung um, in-specify sa atin ng ating pinagtatrabawuhan either na hospital or any other institution or pwedeng um, binigay sa atin internationally or standardized yung listahan ng abbreviation na yun. Now, remember that when in doubt about whether to use an abbreviation, you have to write the term out in full until certain about the abbreviation. So, ibig sabihin, um, if, if, you, if you are not sure kung tama yung abbreviation na gagamitin mo, it is uh, safer pa rin that you write the complete uh, word or the complete term. or You write it in full para um, clear tayo or para sure ka at ma, hindi, hindi mangyari yung error na ayaw natin talaga in the hospital. Okay? Tapos, i-double check mo ngayon if tama ba yung abbreviation na gagamitin mo so that uh, you can use it the other time na gagamitin mo siya. So, this is the official do not use list. So, this is from the Joint Commission. So, for example, this one, the letter U, um, it stands for unit Pero sometimes, the, the potential problem is na may mistaken siya for zero. So instead, we, we now um, write the letter, I mean, we write the word unit instead of uh, abbreviating it as U. Okay? So ginag, binubuo na natin siyang word unit. Another, yung IU, which stands for international unit. So before, ginagamit siya. Kaya lang, um, sometimes, uh, it was mistaken for IV or intravenous or the number 10. So ngayon, the recommendation is that we no longer use IU. Instead, we write the international unit itself. Okay? Buong word. Buong words na. 
And then, ito yung kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, yung MS, it can mean morphine sulfate or magnesium sulfate. So, when we are referring to these medications, so we write the, their full names. Okay, either morphine sulfate or magnesium sulfate. Okay, so, please refer to this. Uh, these are just some of the examples of the official do not use list. Now, um... We, na, we now proceed to the different abbreviations na, na standardize. Ito talaga yung commonly na ginagamit in the hospital setting. Okay? So, ito yung mga makakatulong sa inyo um, sa pagja-charting or pagja-documentation. And commonly, makikita nyo to sa mga charting ng mga nurses natin. Okay, so for the time of administration, we use H or sometimes ginagamit nila HR to mean um, hour, or in Latin, um, hora. OM, it stands for each morning. By the way, for hour, for example, ang nalagay doon, um, one H. So, ibig sabihin nun, one hour. Or for example, you have to administer the drug um, every two hours. So, pag nakita mo na two tapos H, that would mean na uh, two hours. Okay? OM, it means each morning. QHS, that would mean at bedtime. So, for example, doctor ordered na i-give yung medication QHS. So, alam mo na na ibig sabihin na ni doctor na if he is asking to give the medication QHS, ibig sabihin, you give the medication at bedtime. Okay? Yung mga nandito sa gilid, um, they mean, uh, they are the Latin words for for this uh, term. Okay? For example, at bedtime, the Latin word for that is horasomni. Next is um, ALT dot D dot, or this would mean alternate days. Q, okay? Ito, very common to. Q, it means every. The Latin word is quack. Quake. Okay? So, pag nakita every 10 hour, 10 H. For example, every 10 H. Or Q, 10 H. So, that would mean every 10 hours. O kaya, sabi ni doctor, give the paracetamol by mouth every 8 hours. So, ang pag abbreviate natin nun ng every 8 hours is Q, 8 na number and then H na letter. So, Q8H. So, that is every 8 hours. Next, COD, that would mean alternate day or every other day. So, for example, sinabi na give the medication every other day or give the medication QOD. So, that would mean every other day. So, that's how we abbreviate. So, other terms, AC, this is very common. That would mean uh, before meals, the Latin word is antecibum. Ito yung um, Q4H, that would mean every four hours. PC, if AC is before meals, PC is after meals, post sibum. And then Q6H, that is every six hours. OD, this is daily or once a day. Omni die. Now, yung QD, um, hindi na ito recommended gamitin. Although, um, ginagamit to before to indicate na every day or kwake die. Pero again, um, some books would tell na wag na lang siyang gamitin. Okay, kasi it, it is mistaken for other, other terms, other terms then. Okay? Next, BID. So, BID would mean two times daily or twice a day. The Latin word is bis in die. And then, PRN, ito, very common. So, it means when necessary. Uh, for example, give the paracetamol PRN. Ibig sabihin, you, give, you only give the, the paracetamol when necessary. So, PRN in Latin is pro renata. Stat, this is very common. It means at once or immediately. For example, sabi ni doctor, you give the, the paracetamol stat. 
Okay, so that would mean at once, immediately. Okay, next, um, AM, that is for morning. PM is for afternoon. PID is um, three times a day. And then QID is four times a day. So, ito, ito yung, ano, ano, two, twice a day is BID, thrice a day is DID, QID is four times a day. Okay, kasi yung ID, so this is um, INDAI, di ba, yung ating Latin for that. So, ang nababago lang is yung, um, ito, yung B, yung T, and yung Q. Okay, so ito for the dosage and application ng uh, mga gamot. So, ito yung mga commonly terms na ginagamit. G GTTS, that would mean na drops. In Latin, it's gute. Capital OS, or sometimes small then yung ginagamit nila. It means left eye. KG, that is kilogram. OU is both eyes. And then L is a liter. Then, IM is intramuscular, SC is subcutaneous. Okay, so ito yung pag incheck So, IM, intramuscular, SC is subcutaneous. IV is intravenous, IV is intravenous, ML is milliliter. NPO, that would mean na not, nothing by mouth. Okay, or that's NBM, nothing by mouth. Okay, yung NPO is nothing per OREM. Again, NPO is nothing per OREM. Ibig sabihin din nun, nothing by mouth. Okay? So, NBM, nothing by mouth. Or NPO, nothing per OREM. KSS, keep set ser sterile. Number na, na word na to, or this symbol, that would mean na number. KVO, keep vein open. ID is intradermal. So, IM is intramuscular, SC is subcutaneous, IB is intradermal. Um, for the preparation of drugs, you have AMP, ampule. AMT is amount, AQ, o kaya H2O, that would mean the water. CAP is capsule, DIST is distilled. A capital S dot or SIG dot, that would mean uh, give the following directions. Okay, and then Rx, it would mean na take or prescription. Okay, C with bar on top. Ito, madalas din tong ginagamit. So, small letter C with bar on top. That would mean na with. Yung kabaligtaran niya naman, S with bar on top. That would mean na without. Okay? So, ito yung sa eyes natin kanina. Ano? So, OD, that would mean na right eye. In uh, Latin, oculus dexter. Okay, so OD, that is right eye. OS, that is for the left eye. Oculus sinister. Okay, and then OU, it is for both eyes. And then IV is for the intravenous. So OD is for the right eye. OS is for the left eye. Pag sinabing both eyes, OU. Okay. ADM, that is uh, for the admission. ABD, that would mean abdomen. ADL, activities of daily living. Adlib, this is also common. So, as desired, yung ibig sabihin niya. AMB, ambulatory. Approx is approximately. So, CC, ito, very common then. That would mean shift complaint. Okay, yung C, pwede siyang degree cell. I mean, cell shows. Diba? Pero kadalasan ginagamit siya in, sa ating yung vital signs na temperature na degree Celsius. Okay? So, may kasama siya yung degree. CBC, complete blood count. CNS, central nervous system. CSF is cerebral spinal fluid. CO2 is carbon dioxide. BP is blood pressure. BR is bed rest. BRP, bathroom privileges. Okay? Pag sinabing complete bed rest tapos with uh, without bathroom privileges so that's another that this is a common um order then doctor okay cbr that would mean complete bed rest without bathroom privileges okay so 
that is also common in the hospital setting. So BUN is blood urea nitrogen. Um, DAT is diet as tolerated. Ito, kadalasan makikita nyo to sa um, order when it comes to the diet of the patient. So pag nakita nyo that, diet as tolerated. CO, it means, it means complaints of. C, and then um, dash O, it means complaints of. Okay, next. DNC, it means dilatation and curettage. DOA, dead on arrival. Ito, for INO, this is common, intake and output. So, pag sinabi, or record the INO. Pag sabihin, i-record mo na yung intake and output. Lab is for laboratory, LMPs, last menstrual period. Meds is for medication. MOD is moderate. Neg is negative. Ito, yung commonly used symbols. Pag babae, ito yung symbol natin sa kanya. So, parang pabilog and then cross na nakatayo. And then for male, ito naman siya. Please take note na lang of the illustration. Greater than, so this is ours. Ito yung ginagamit talaga natin. Less than and then equal and then increase arrow up. That is for the increase. Okay, decrease is arrow down. Ito yung degree. For example, yung degree Celsius kanina. So, sinasamahan natin ng yung parang maliit na circle above the C for the degree Celsius. So, A na ganito, parang ganyan, is at. X is times. For example, 3 times. So, that, that would mean na yung X is times. So, number. So, this is, I mean, this symbol is for the number. Or sometimes, um, it can also be used for, for fracture. And then, zero with bar on top. Um, we denote na zero yung, yung pinaka number. So, yung O or parang zero with bar on top. So, that would be na number zero. Now, um, these are the terms used naman in charting. So, we have, we have here, ito yung mga concerning concept na baka gusto nyo i-chart. Okay? Ito naman yung mga suggested terms to be used. Ibig sabihin, instead of using these terms, ito yung mas magandang gamitin ninyo. Okay? For example, um, these are the, this is in terms of the abdomen. Okay? Halimbawa, nag-i-inspect ka sa inyong pasy pasyente or you have observed na meron siyang black and blue marks present. May nakita kang black and blue marks sa kanyang abdomen. Um, hindi mo ito chart na you have observed black and blue marks present. So instead, we use the term bruised. Okay? So in again, instead of saying na black and blue marks present, ang suggested term is bruised. Ibig sabihin, nagpasa siya. Okay? And then, and then for example, um, you would want to say in your chart na hard, board-like yun observe mo sa kanyang abdomen. So instead, you can just uh, say or use this term na hard or rigid. For filled with gas, instead of this term or these uh, words, you can just say, um, timp tympanite, tympanitis, okay, tympanitis. So, that is a better term. Appearance um, swollen, nakita mo yung the appearance is swollen, you can just use the word distended, okay, the, for example, distended abdomen, okay. For, if it looks, if the, the abdomen is uh, like swollen, so you can just say na, the abdomen is distended. Okay? Presence of rush, you can just say na rush present. And then you, you identify if it's mild or severe. Hurts when touch. Instead of um, using these words, you just have to indicate or use the term sensitive to touch. O kaya tender. Much better yung tender. Okay? Next, we have for admission or discharge of patient. So, instead of um, using the word walking, you can just use the term ambulatory. Carried in, for example, in inf um, infant, okay, carried, carried in, 
for example, kung infant siya, you can just um, use the term arm born. On stretcher, you can just use per stretcher. If um, in admit siya ng naka-stretcher, you just have to indicate na admitted patient per stretcher or the patient came in per stretcher by wheelchair. So you can just um, write per wheelchair. Okay, the patient um, come in the clinic per wheelchair. Okay, next for the appearance, um, instead of using thin or undernourished, you can just use the term emaciated. Okay, fat or greatly overweight, you can just use the term obese. Seems very weak, or I mean very sick, seems very sick, you can just uh, use the term acutely ill. Not very sick, you can just use the term not acutely ill. For the appetite, ayan. So, pag very fussy about food or refuse to eat many food, you just use the term has like and dislike concerning food. If you or she eats all food serve, then ilagay mo na lang good appetite. It's very, it's very little, ilagay mo poor appetite. Or kung loss of appetite, you can just use anorexic. Kung refuse to eat, you can just use refused food. For the arm, um, you may use the, uh, for example, shoulder to elbow. Instead of using that terms or words, you can just use the term na upper arm. Either right or left upper arm siya. Elbow to wrist, you can just say lower arm. Or you can just use lower arm. Appear puffy and swollen, you can just use edematous. Artificial arm, you can just say prosthesis. Okay, so medyo marami pa siya na, na mga terms na recommended to be used sa ating mga nurses. So I'll just give you a copy of this. You have to be familiar lang on how, you, on how they are used and ano yung mga pwede yung mag magamit in your charting. Okay? At saka dapat familiar kayo talaga in the different abbreviations and itong mga terms na pwede nyo magamit kasi may encounter nyo siya na na night chart ng mga nurses talaga kasi baka meron kayong makita sa charting ninyo tapos hindi nyo alam yung meaning ng mga abbreviations or yung terms na na-encounter ninyo kaya mahalaga na you have to be familiarized with this uh, different terms and abbreviations so I'll give you a copy of this I will send this uh, uh, this PowerPoint and this paper sa inyo. So, pakihantay na lang. And that is uh, for my discussion for the commonly accepted abbreviations in the hospital. Thank you.